Boom, 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 boom.
That's right. It's about time to take a look at some lousy images I recently took at a football game. Coming up soon. Try this again. Always something going on. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? No, not you. I can see me. Not hearing what I want to hear. Give me a second, everybody. One more thing set up here. You know how things go. How's everybody doing out there? Oh, I keep doing this. The life of a streamer. Trying to get everything working. Yeah, alrighty. Dismiss this. Alrighty. Don't need that any longer. Let's have a little fun, shall we? We're going to take a look at some images I took recently at a football game. And uh, they are lousy images. I will be right up front and tell you that they are not very good. But it happened. Sometimes you just kind of walk into a place and... Uh, you just don't. Let's get these set up. You're just not feeling it. And this uh, this was a really little school I went and shot. I have never been to this school before. And I will probably never go back for football ever again. Probably never. Um, walking in, it just things just didn't feel right. It just wasn't a very, a very friendly atmosphere, in my opinion. Usually I'm greeted with smiles and people saying, Hey, where are you from? What's going on? You know. Hey, Nick, what's going on? And Chabs is lurking, of course. All right. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to show you an image here. Let's pull this up first. Give you an idea of where I was at. So 
So this is the field I walked into. Let me get you the display here. Pull this over. And you can see exactly where I was at. This is the field I was shooting at. This was a daytime game. All day. That's it. Let's go a little bit bigger. Get me out of the picture for a second. You can see the fun struggles I was going to have because, you know, half the field is shaded. Like I said, it's a daytime game, so there's no lights at all. Field is in terrible condition. You got sunshine on part of it. You got shade on the other. So, you know, I had to use auto ISO in this case, one of the few times I will ever use auto ISO. <clears throat> and basically what that does with your camera is allows it to determine the ISO on its own based on the other settings that you've made in your camera. But yeah, as you can see, it's um, not the best place. It's just, yeah, it just wasn't very fun there. Not many people showed up. Uh, it was their homecoming night, I believe. All right, so let's uh, let's jump into the images, shall we? This should be um quite quite entertaining for you to see that you know. Even as pro sports photographers have lousy days, we're going to look at some of these images. Not going to be exciting. I'm not excited already to show them to you. Uh, I took two different cameras. I um, took out the uh, Sony a7 IV, the usual, with the camera on one, uh, 70 to 180. And I also dusted off my old Nikon D7200 and the old... There we go. In the old um, Sigma 150 to 500 lens, I've had this set up for a long time. Decided to dust it off, give me a little extra reach. You know, makes things a little more exciting, a little more fun. Kind of dust things off and see how things work out. First image, you know, I'm just sitting there just kind of taking images like you do when you show up. Just start taking images. Nothing real important just to see what's going on. Another one, again, just checking things out. This is with, as you can see, the Nikon D7200. Kind of taking a few images here and there. Always got to get the officials. So let's do this. Let's get rid of this uh, right here. We don't need this either. And we will do some quick editing just for fun. Obviously, I mean, that's a good one right there. Nothing wrong with that. A little underexposed, the shadows there. Because there's no extra light. There's no light coming from any place else. So I want to I want to show you one more thing real fast. Let me go back to this image. Okay, so like I said, there there's no lights on this field. Sun here, shade here. There's a mountain over on this side. So what's going to happen is soon this was a 3:30 game. Soon the sun is going to start setting behind this huge mountain that's over here on this left side. So it won't be long, and the shade here will be covering the entire field, which not much fun. All right, let's get back to this. Let's get back to doing a little bit of editing, editing on this one. Drop a little bit of the highlights. Let's bring up some texture. ISO 500. It's going to look pretty good. Don't need to do any noise reduction on this. I'll do a little sharpening, though. Make sure we can read everything really good. Let me get rid of this tab. There we go. All right. And let's just do a little bit of masking. Don't have to do very much. I'm just going to do a little bit. Because, you know, it's fun. It's fun. You got to play around with Lightroom. All right. Inverted as usual. I kind of picked him up a little bit. That's kind of weird. So let's see what happens. We can drop that down. It kind of drops them down. For some reason, it picked him up as well. So it's not going to do what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to stop there. And we shall move on. Just got another one. You always got to take a you always got to take a picture of the field. You know, just 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 for fun, right? We got this one. We can do a quick edit on this one too. And we'll just kind of put him right right there. Bring out some of the shadows, see if we can get his face showing up. I could mask this area for just a little bit, but I have no reason to on this image. Settings look pretty good, so I'm not going to do much more to this one. 
And yes, these images right here don't look terrible, <laughs> but just wait, they're going to get worse. So another fun one you can see down at this side of the field, it's, it's dark. It's just, you can't really do much. Same settings, just kind of messing around with things a little bit. You can see this one's kind of falling apart. It's not looking great. So let's um, do a little sharpening on it. That looks pretty, pretty good. Oh, don't want to delete it. Let's move on to the next one. This is one of the coaches. Actually, no, this was the guy marking the field. Marking the field. Did I show you the field? Did, did I? Let me, let me make sure. Did I show you guys the field? This is the field. He was just finishing up marking the field when I got there. This is the field, okay? Personally, I think it's a kind of a dangerous field to be playing on. Don't care about that image, though. Let's move on. We got these ones going on here. Let's give this one a quick edit. This one definitely is too dark. I didn't even adjust the settings. I just quickly took the image. Here were some highlights. You can see getting around the highlights kind of helps bring in some of the color back into the balloons. The balloons. And we'll just do a little quick, quick sharpening. There we go. Trump, Trump supporters. How about that? Now on this one, I bet if you try and do an in, invert, it's not um, not going to re work really well with the masking. Let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, this might might work out better than I thought. But you can see it's kind of picking up part of him. Some of these guys back here. Let's just see what happens, so just for fun, shall we? So we could drop the exposure a little bit, and just actually, I would just leave it like that. I don't see. Any reason to do anything else with it, do you? Moving on. Another dark image. Again, just kind of playing with settings and I didn't really change them much, just grabbing some quick shots. This one here, one twelve fiftieth of a second. Didn't even need to be that high. There's no action at all. We're gonna brighten it up. Let's we'll see if the shadows can bring so you can bring them back out a little bit. Bring them out pretty good with the shadows. I think I was gonna go for the coach in a second and get a shot of him. Add a little texture to this one. We can go down and do some sharpening. Again, they're going to get worse. I was trying to get the coach. Every once in a while he looked my way, but he wouldn't look my way when I wanted him to look my way. Finally, he did. Wasn't quite what I wanted. But sometimes you just do what you have to do. And he's wearing dark glasses. Sharpening. I mean, so it's okay. Nothing exciting. Same with that. We're not going to worry about that one. And again, I'm just kind of snapping some shots real fast. Let's put him in the center. Uh, we might make this a black and white, actually. Let's do that. Do, do, do. We can go over to right there, convert to black and white. Hello. I don't want to do much contrast because you can't really see him to begin with. He's in the shadow, but behind him is nice and bright. So see, that's kind of cool. I kind of, kind of like that. Um, let's drop down a little bit of texture, a little sharpening. A little extra texture in there. Now you go. He's getting that nice gritty look for football players. That one. See that one. This is better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let me look at something real fast here. All right. This one, eh, not really much going on you can see the iso went up to 1600 and i don't know what's going on there <laughs> things happen i think i was just still kind of messing around i hope that's what i was doing this is definitely overexposed oh you can bring some of the shadows back up have a little bit of fun let's go and turn that one off i'm not gonna i can deal with color right now 
We'll just do some of the basic edits like we usually do. Not going to be diving deep into the settings this evening. Do a quick mask, kind of, kind of lower down the, the intensity of the background a little bit. A little bright. A little bright. Sunlight bouncing off the building behind us. So, and I'll see if we can drop this down. Truthfully, that one, you could go way down to there and that one's going to look good. All right. Woohoo. We're doing good. Nothing exciting. They're just warming up. Seniors are getting gifts. Nothing real good in these images. Got these two. These aren't terrible. Now see the ISO is down about where it should be, 450. Excuse me, 450. Shutter speed 1 1600 is way too fast for this type of image. With this one, I think I'm just going to sharpen it a little bit, maybe add a little bit of texture, and then we'll call this one good. And let's do just a little a bit of editing. Let's get that guy out of the photo. There we go. And we will leave that one just like that. Just a close up of everything going on, so we can just do this real fast. Let's just focus on these guys in the middle. Um, actually, let's do it this way. Let's focus on those two guys mostly. We'll get that guy as well. Now, see, when you crop it in, this it just doesn't. You don't know where your eye doesn't know where to go to. It's like, what do I look at? Seventy two or the other guys? So let's do a um. Do a free crop and just do what we want to do with it. So we can just isolate on these two guys. We can come down a little bit farther, go above his head. Let's give him a little room to look at right there. See, there we go. Now we know who we're looking at, why we're looking at him. A little texture to add that grit. Sharpen it just a little bit. Now, the reason I do it quickly is because I already know where the settings are going to take me when I do it. A lot of times I'll just zoom in and then do the sharpening. So let me reduce the sharpening again. And you can see it's not quite as sharp. If I just go right about there, it punches it just enough. And I get that mostly because I've had enough experience doing this and using Lightroom. I know what I want. Not really feeling that image. Like when I say I'm not really feeling it, that just means I don't like how the image is coming to me. I don't like how it's looking or what I could possibly do to it. Other people might like it and say, yeah, I can do a lot with that one, but not me. Uh, I'm going to look at something here. See if we can just get the coach on this one. All right, let's start some sharpening on that one. Just a little bit. Let's give him, give her some of those highlights. Kind of gives this color. He's a little washed out. And again, these ones, easily I could have dropped the shutter speed way down. Now we got the homecoming royalty. And neither image is that great, truthfully. Nothing I'm real excited about. Maybe this one. Let's find out. That's her friend. See, nothing real good. And the problem with this lens and this camera that I was using, this is the D7200. It's not quite as sharp as the other cameras I have. But let's just play around. Let's drop this. See, you get rid of those highlights. It stops her face from being washed out. Brings back some of the color. You can actually warm it up a little bit if you wanted. Not blue. You could actually warm this one up a little bit. It wouldn't be too bad. Add a little bit of sharpening to it. Now this one, I don't want any texture. I don't really want her to make her look all gritty. I'll actually probably drop it down, smooth the skin out just a little bit. Yeah, and there we go. Look at that. I know these aren't terrible images. Just wait. They're coming. Like these. Don't care for any of these. This one, I saw potential. I saw potential in this image. But unfortunately, nothing. 
She, I, I, what I wanted, I was hoping she would turn my way just a little bit so I could at least get the eye in that side of the face. It just didn't happen. Though. So how's everybody doing tonight? Get out and shoot this week. You got any some good shots that you can share in Discord? Which reminds me. Let's do this real fast. Um, this one's not too bad. Not great. Eyes are closed. We don't like eyes closed, do we? No, we do not. Eyes are still closed. I mean, that one's okay. Nothing exciting. It's 3 a.m.? 3 a.m.? Wow. Nick? Oh, that's right. You like to stay up late, don't you? <laughs> You're always up. I'm not getting... I'm not getting the messages very quickly here. So my apologies for that. Okay, so what I want to do here, um, let's move on. I don't care for that photo. This one I kept, I just kept waiting for something. For a good look, a good smile, something. All right, so let's do this. For those of you interested, of course it's not working right. Ah. Let's try it this way. All right. So, yeah. You only need two hours of sleep, really? Soccer? Field hockey? Gaelic football? Wow, well, that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I think I, I would definitely enjoy that. This is not switching properly. Strange. Strange. All right, move on. Let's keep going. Again, I was just hoping she would just, just turn a little bit. Just turn. Give me a smile. Something. But no. Yes, I'm trying to find something for you guys. Yeah, you know how it goes. Trying to find some things to see if you can get it to work and it won't work right. You know. Again, it was there. Again, this shot. There's definitely potential there. It's got some good color to it. Lighting's right on. How can I do that? But she just wouldn't cooperate. We could do a quick edit, though. Nothing too exciting. Bring up some shadows. We can drop those highlights. Just go say goodbye, highlights. Let me get rid of that. <laughs> that's um that's a good way of looking at it, Nick. Yeah, this just looks like that's why I said at the beginning of the stream. I just when I walked in there, I just wasn't feeling it. It just wasn't very exciting at all. I just I will probably never go back there again for football. There's no reason to. Um, all right. Enough of that. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll get it in a second. That's what we'll do. All right. Let's move along. See, they're still not looking. What a crappy photo. Okay, now we're getting to the fun action ones. 
Hey, there's kind of a smile there, but that one's just out of focus for some reason. All right, we'll get through these really, really fast. Yeah, you know, for homecoming, you would have thought everybody would have been excited and having fun, and the home team ended up winning the game, but still, they just it wasn't that great. So this one we can do a quick little edit to. This one would be good. So this is a good image here. I don't mind this one. And if we have time after this, I've got some old basketball images I need to edit. I didn't do them from last year. So this one doesn't need much done to it. If we want it, we can throw a mask on it. Just kind of separate our subject from the background a little bit. Do an invert that picks up just the background. We can just drop the exposure a little bit. And there we go. Now it's just them. Nobody else is showing up. All righty. Now, let's see what other exciting things we can do. Uh, look at something here real fast. Get moving along. Here's another one. It's kind of an average image, just nothing exciting. I think I was part of the problem. I just wasn't feeling it. No one there seemed to really wanted to be there. The best part of the whole game, a little contrast, a little bit of texture, and let's go down and do a little bit of, I really didn't do much sharpening, but we'll throw a little bit in there. There we go. Yes. Go to a sharpening. Okay. Let's see if I can find this now. Come on. Yeah, give me a second. I'm just trying to figure something out. And I do have a Discord if you guys want to join the Discord and we can talk about all call all kinds of things sports phot photography related. Alrighty then, let's get back to the serious stuff. I'm gonna throw a mask on this one as well. <laughs> picking up and going home. I left at halftime. Cause it just, I didn't want to be there any longer. Like I am out of here at halftime. The team, the black and orange team, they were ahead by like 35 points. Like now see, that's a nice one there. I put the little mask on there. It looks pretty good. I like that one. I can kind of see his face and a little bit of his face a little bit better than in that photo. We got them coming. I kind of like this shot. Now this was six man football. So it's American football, six man, six players on each team playing at one time. Not the typical 11 man that we have here. Now, this would be a fun one just to kind of narrow it down to the uh, to that team. Drop those highlights. You can see their uniforms are getting washed out. So let's kind of drop that down. And we'll go get us a little bit of sharpening. Don't need any noise reduction at ISO 400. Shutter speed was actually really high at 1 2000th. Didn't even need to be that high. Oops. what we got here. I got a couple here. Let's take a look at a few of these and just see how they end up looking. Let's 
So probably one of these. Let's start with this one. Let's edit this one real fast. Now I had auto ISO on and you can see it's up to 1800 now. You didn't really need to go that high, but it did for some strange reason. Textures bring out a little bit of sharpening. Let's pump up those shadows a little bit. No, not the highlights. Shadows. That's what we want. Yes, yeah, it just it's an okay photo. It's nothing. That's a little better. Let's do this one. This one we can just kind of tighten right into these two players. It's actually a pretty good tackle. So again, get rid of some of those highlights, and then we're gonna pull up the shadows a little bit. A little bit of texture to it. A little sharpening. And then Where's my shadows? There they are. Pull up those shadows so we can see the faces better. This is another one I can add a little mask to and might bring them out, make them pop just a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and do that. No quick edits tonight, I guess. That's what I was going to do, but you know. And again, you can see when I invert the mask, it just picks up the background, isolates the main two subjects. So I can just kind of drop that down a little bit which makes them show up a little more in the image. Kind of, as we say, pops a little bit. Yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, his hand's cut off, but you know, we could fix that. We could just isolate it even more up this way. Since he's looking this direction, we'll bring that section out a little bit. A little bit of sharpening, of course. And I'm just going to leave that like that because I'm not really feeling that one. Or that one. Or that one. Or that one. <laughs> or that one. Looking the wrong way. Wrong side of the field. They should. I wish they would have came my way. Now this image here, I've already edited. And there's a reason for that. This coach is the coach of the losing team. They lost by like 42 points, I think it was. This coach was great. He never said a bad thing about the refs, about the players. He would point out some of their mistakes, but in a positive manner. He was always picking this team up, getting them going, staying completely positive. So I went ahead, I've edited this photo already, and I've sent it to him, along with an email saying, I commend, I commend him on the way his attitude was and the way he was so positive. And I also... Did the same, uh, copied it to the, um, uh, the uh, school principal. And I've heard back from the principal and she really appreciated the comment, but I wanted to get this image out to him already. So it's already been edited. As you know, oh, you gotta get, get some of the coaches. The foot on ball, football. And they kind of fumbled it, but I missed it. Okay, so here, talk about lousy images. Let's count these. We have one out of focus, two out of focus, three out of focus, four out of focus. You saw that, right? Now, why are they out of focus? Well, because I forgot I was using back button focus for this game. So I forgot. In case you guys don't know what that is, I have a button back here that I use instead of the shutter button. So I focus it with this button back here, and then I can snap it with that one. And yeah, I forgot I was doing that. So this, these couple of uh, four photos are out of focus because of that. It was, um, it was kind of funny. It, uh, yeah, it kind of, Kind of made me laugh a little bit. See here. Um, what else I got for you guys?
takeaway food. Take home food would have been yummy. So let's get past these. This one's just a big pile up. I was hoping to get the uh, tackler here, but this wasn't a very good tackling. He just didn't look good. And he finally wraps up. And he finally gets in a good position. But it's just not a good photo. Can't see any faces. Just ISO went up to 4,000. So on this camera, it's going to be really noisy. Hey, look, he's got a pole coming out of the top of his head. See that? Lousy image. This one's a funny one. Got everybody looking at the ball. And when, you know, you're shooting at a F6.0, so much of this is in focus, it kind of takes away what you should be looking at. This one's kind of interesting. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm going to narrow it down to those guys right there. Yeah, it's okay. Nothing exciting. Kind of, kind of add a little, little noise reduction on this, do a little sharpening. Don't forget, when you do sharpen, it does introduce a little more noise, but not much. And some of you know, if you've been here before, you know, my goal is I've been trying to get like photos of those who don't get in all the photos, if that makes sense. So the ones who are not in all the action, such as the ball carriers, that's usually what sports photographers focus on. And, you know, trying to get that. Okay, another, just an average shot, nothing exciting. Yeah, it just wasn't a good game. I really wasn't feeling it. Yeah, I've got images, obviously, that people are going to purchase, but I just don't like them. This is kind of a funny photo here, actually. Got this big guy just standing there. That's kind of funny. Sharpen that one up a little bit. 3200 ISO. A little bit of noise in it, not terrible. Go up in, um, gosh, it's just, eh, not enjoying these photos. But I wanted to share them with you so you can see that some days you're just not feeling it and your images end up showing that you're not feeling it. Now this one, I believe there's a good one right here. It's not too bad. Probably this one. So let's see if we can come down. We can crop down a little bit. Unfortunately, that pole's coming right out there. Yeah, Nick, the field. Um, I would not have played on it. Yeah, like you said, you can see big lumps of grass here, and there's like little empty spots over here, and. It's rough. It... Just not a good place to be. <laughs> and I admit it, I'm used to nicer fields, but as long as it's a good game and there's some good action, I don't really care. Let me see if I can separate them from the background just a little bit more. A little bit, nothing exciting. Yeah, a little noise reduction on that one. Let's see, is there any more in this set? That was not bad. I'd probably pick this one. Oh, but you got the replica over. Let's see. Let's take a look at this one if we edit it in a little bit. If we got really tight, I see it just doesn't look good. Came home very frustrated from this game. <laughs> True, like Stepford Wives. 
Now, I didn't notice that, but I guess you could be right. That's pretty good. Don't know what I was focusing on there or there. I don't know what that shot's about. Wrong angle for that shot. I'm, I'm behind the play. That's lousy. Out of focus. This one's kind of cool looking. Just kind of put him on that angle right there. I can live with this one. A little bit of noise reduction to sharpen it up just a little bit. Okay, this is not sharp either. Could be the lens. I've had the lens a very long time as well as the camera. So it might have been that. But I have photos uh, with the other setup, the other camera. So we'll see what those look like in a second. But, I mean, what what is that? What's even going on here? I don't know. And the other bad thing is both these teams, uh, they're ranked what they call a 1A. So it means they're, there's 6A, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. 1 being the lowest, which means they're a really small school, which means the ratio of kids to talent is not very high. And the less talent you have, the less precision you have, the less great action shots you can get. But you hate saying that because they did have some good, talented kids, but as a whole, they just weren't great. Like, that's kind of cool, but you can't even see his face. He's getting munched. That's great, though. Yeah, let's edit this one real fast. And then the... Uh... Gosh. Drop exposures, drop the highlights. No, not too much there. Where are we at? 4,000? Gosh. A little sharpening, a little noise reduction. Let's go ahead and throw a mask on this one. See if we can separate it because you got all the balloons. Balloons are kind of cool in a way, but you got the truck. Kind of annoying to look at. Invert. There we go. And he's actually off the ground. That's kind of fun. I like that about the shot. Now, if you go too far, it just it looks so unreal. It just doesn't look right. Could be good if you're trying to do some type of artsy type photo. Now, if you wanted to do that and you want to drop all the color out of it, watch this. So if you go back up here, where's my, oops, get back here, convert to black and white, do something artsy, I guess. But then I don't have enough light on it, so. Yeah, let's reset those. Let's go back one more time. Let's do this one one more time. Just for fun. And now the horizon may look crooked, but this horizon is not crooked. It's the field has, you know, to kind of get the water to go off of it. It's kind of crowned a little bit. Let's drop that back down. Put some texture into it. A little bit of sharpening. I really don't want to do much. <laughs> Let's get the mask back on there. Lose the will to live. God, you're not helping, Nick. You're making it worse for me. That's why I say I will never, I will probably never go back for football ever again. All right, we're going to move along. Let's get going here. Oh, is that the last one? Nope. It's not moving. There we go. That was a lousy tackle. Okay. What was that? What are these images? Who took these? Couldn't have been me. Um, got a fun, cool background. Let's see if we can have some fun with this one, shall we? Drop a little highlights. Just a little bit. Pull up a little bit of the shadows. I don't know why my voice is getting high. Let's sharpen it. We're at 2,500. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. These images are depressing me. I'm really not enjoying this. But again, now you can see it happens. You get bad images. 
Come on. Come on, catch up. There we go. All right, let's see if we can do something with this one. Since he's kind of come around the corner, let's put him like right there in the image. ISO 2500 is probably too low, but that's what the camera wanted. It's not what I would have picked, which I did change later. I picked the ISO on my own. And the grass, the grass is like dead. It's just not... It's, all right, I'll stop complaining. All right, good. We're done with that set. I have more. <laughs> Let me go to the library here. I've got some more, but take a look at the different camera. Let's go through these again. ISO 100, 1600. This one's not, I mean, it's, it's just kind of a fun one to take, you know, nothing too exciting. Oops, hang on, hang on. I don't need any noise reduction. Only had ISO 100. Definitely don't need noise reduction. Yeah, the grass kind of does resemble the players. It's just. I mean, I could try. We could try and bring a little color in, but I just don't think it's going to work. Let's try some luminous. So I can bring a little bit in, but even with that, you can see how dead it is. There's just nothing. I could throw some saturation, which makes it look a little better. But there's just not much to work with. But hey, sports photographers, we make we make it work. All right, let's just do this. Let's separate them just a little bit from the background. Just a little bit. Right, that's good enough. Good enough. I'll keep going. It's probably like, what are you looking at? Yes, I'm right on the middle of the field. I can just see him going, hey, what are you looking at, bub? Nothing. I'm not looking at anything. All right. Coin toss coming up. And I just missed the coin toss. It's in the air. Coming back down. But it's just not there. Just missed it. All right. Looking at these photos, you can see the little, little more sharp. They're not as bad as the other, other ones, others, because this is a much better camera system. Except for here, I don't know what I was doing with this one. I don't know what I'm doing. For some reason, it focused, focused way over here on the other side. I don't know why. Let's see. This one's not too bad. Coming nice and tight like that. But you can barely see that's and that's the problem with the sun the way it was. You can't really see their faces, and there's no other lighting on the field. We're at ISO 100, so we can sharpen it up a little bit. Let's get back up there. And of course, we're gonna pull those shadows out so we can see some faces. A little more exposure again. 
Usually day games, you can get some really good light out of day games, but this time, not at all. Let's, um, let's mask it a little bit. Separate them from the background like we've been doing. Because, you know, we can, we can do that. Now, the weird thing is it didn't separate. It's got picking up some of the players. So let's see what happens here. I could always throw in another mask and bring some of it back, but I just don't see a reason to. I had at least stayed till halftime. I drove like 10 minutes, 15 minutes to the game. I had to stay for a little bit. Now this one, yeah, look. I got a nice shot of the porta potty back there. Admittedly, I was kind of messing with the focus points, just kind of tried some different things, but let's we'll see if we got him here, though. Just got to crop in, you know, shoot tight, crop tighter. And let's go ahead and leave that player in there. Leave them all in there just for fun. A little more exposures, get those shadows up. We can see the faces. I don't really need to sharpen too much, just a little bit. ISO 500, let's move on. And, you know, if I stay there and I get the images, you know, edited and put out, some parents might buy them. And I've had some interest already, so it should make enough to um, pay for me going there. Now this one, unfortunately, you got the ref right behind, almost like mimicking him. Yeah, let's edit it. What the heck? Got nothing else to do. The shadows needs a little more, uh, a little more of that, right? A little more exposure. Sharpen a little more. Nikon Z9, nice. That's a good setup. That's a really nice setup. I like that. Drop those highlights. Eric, what's going on? Hey, thanks for joining us. Yes, six man. Six man football. And I was not excited to be at this game. Just one of those games I walked into and it just, nobody was friendly. I'm not used to that. Okay, take it back. One lady was friendly. I talked to her for a couple seconds, but other than that, yeah. Now, how are you doing this evening, Eric? What's happening? Just in time to watch me edit some lousy images I took. This allows I can't even get it to go to the next image. Come on. Yeah, we're moving along, moving along. And he's looking back. And I'll probably edit at least one of these. That's probably the best one. Yep, that's the one. That's the one. Just got a new body. What body did you get? Don't tell me it's an icon. <laughs> 275. Nice. Did you only take two hundred? Oh wait, you edited. Okay, so how many did you take total? Hopefully not too many. Don't get too carried away. Oh, the One DX, yeah. That is a really nice camera.
And they're kind of, when you see the images, you kind of know they came from a Canon too. There's something about the, the picture profile that just kind of screams, this is a Canon. Nikon's got theirs, so does Sony, but Canons really jump out at you. This is like one of the best photos. Nine fifty is not bad. Like I say, the more you take, the more you have to edit. <laughs> I take depending roughly six hundred per game. Almost no matter what I'm shooting. Now these are ridiculous. I just kept taking photos for some strange reason. I don't know why. Almost got it. This game, my goal was to try and get the uh, quarterback just almost catching the football, which is pretty much what this photo is. Kind of like the little challenge for me during this game, just to see what can I get. Some shadows. I'm not going to do a lot on these. So when you go into bed, Nick. Or have you already slept your couple hours? These are just terrible. Can't be a shortage of parts. Come on. Luckily, I shoot with Sony. I'm a Sony shooter. I don't know why you kept looking. Look my way, at least. Uh, yeah, I just kept taking these photos. I think I was just having fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, I found, like I've said, I've shot Canon, Nikon, Sony. Using auto ISO sometimes works. I used it, I used it on this field. Because when I showed up, part of the field was in sunshine, the rest was in shade. But it turned shady really fast. But I've seen the auto ISO on three different frames, uh, you know, change so rap so much, so drastically. I'm like, I don't know what the purpose is. And I know a lot of people live by it, but. But these photos here, they're just lousy. Now, is that halftime? First quarter, 20 to zero. <laughs> At least I'm nice and low. We got real low. I don't know what that was. What the heck was that? That's better. Yeah, I usually do manual ISO. Well, I, like I mentioned, if I'm in a situation like this where part of the field is sunny and the rest of it's shady and things are moving rapidly, I'll do auto, auto ISO for a little bit. And then as soon as I can, I get back to manual. Because manual is the way to go. Yes, yeah, see, I, all these pictures I can't stand. They're just ugly to me. <laughs> They're dead to me. Is that maybe this one? I got a good one of him. Yeah, it's like, how low can you go? I'm usually kneeling down on one knee or sitting down in the end zone. I don't get down, I don't get on my stomach like some guys do and just get really low. That's, I think it's a little overkill for high school sports, especially. Hey, well, look, we got some people cheering in the background. Hey, good job. Woo. Yeah, just crappy photos. Canon AE1. I still have a Canon AE1.
Yeah, I'm really not liking these. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm just like going through them. Yeah, I get off the field. But you know, I was there. There was nobody else at this game taking photos. I was there. Here, we'll edit this one. I didn't have I didn't really, I haven't edited very much, so we'll just do a quick edit on this. Sounds so excited, don't I? Usually I am excited. We get through these. I'm, I've got some other photos. We'll take a quick look at that are a lot better than this. ISO 500. Do not need that. We'll do some sharpening. Get those shadows up so we can see the players a little bit. Drop some highlights. Exposure. Let's blow up the background. Let's just blow up that background. Thirty-five millimeter camera. Night. Those are fun. Those old ones still work really well. Not quite as good as today's cameras, but they can still get the job done when needed. Oh, and the masking. Masking kind of didn't do good on this job. Didn't do good on this photo. Yeah. Let's just let's uh, move along, shall we? Come on. That was a funny one coming up. Now I'm going to tackle you. Ah, I got gotcha. you. They tried. They really did. They played their hearts out. They really did. A little exposure on that one. Let's get my little uh, sharpening. And I want to throw in a little bit of texture. There we go. There we go. That's better. My Nota Maxim. Nice. What? Robbed on your 13th birthday? What? That's not right. That's crazy. <laughs> ISO film days. I remember that. I remember getting the getting the in, back in the film days, loading the film up, and if you had to shoot in some dark, you'd kind of cheat the camera to make it think it was a different ISO than what the film really was. That was fun. That was a lousy shuffle pass. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. Let's take a look at this a little better. I kind of like this one. Here we go. Drop those highlights. Got, almost looks fake in the background. That's kind of crazy. Get a little texture on that. And we're going to move along. Because there's no faces. Can't really see faces. And he dropped the ball. And they jumped on the ball. Why can't people just work and purchase things like the rest of us? See, look at this. I don't. Uh, yes. Yeah, don't know how to uh, focus a camera, do I? That autofocus system is really working today. <laughs> that's that's terrible. Kodak 100. Good old Kodak. All right. Let's do this one here. Give me a little room. Go there. Go up to here. Go back to here. And there we go. Don't need any noise reduction, that's for sure. It's nice. Look at it. It's nice and sharp. I like this camera and lens. They're great. Um... Get rid of some highlights. Let's do the exposure just a little bit. I really, really want to do a little bit of a um, little bit of color in it just for fun. Okay, right, let's move on. Good old film days. 
still remember developing my own film. Dark room, you gotta maneuver everything around. And watching it develop, that was always the fun part. Watching your image come to life. Yeah. Good old days. Just, just don't know how I feel about this image. It's not enjoying it at all. Yeah, let's just move along here. I, mean, I still say part of the problem was neither team was very athletic. I'm going to make this kind of a wide crop here. So you don't get those really nice plays that you normally get in bigger schools. And sometimes that leads to kind of like a boring game. You just don't want to be there. What? Still use film? Oh, dude. Film's dead, didn't you hear? <laughs> it's like newspapers are dead. Film's dead. Man, these are just... A little sharpening. They don't even have any... Because of the conditions, there was no light on the field at all, even reflecting the word... To make the uniforms pop, there's just no light there. Just lousy. I think I'm almost done. We'll keep moving along. That one's kind of fun. Almost what I wanted. Oops, what are you doing? Go back. There we go. That's kind of cool. Oop. Looks a little off. Yeah, maybe not. Ah, ouch. Too much exposure. There we go. A little bit of sharpening there. Let's, um, let's go ahead and mask out the background. It's really, really bright. <laughs> if your phone battery dead. Yeah, I can see that. Invert. I like inverting. And we'll just bring that down. That was kind of fun. It's nice, crisp, and clear. I like that. And that was a lousy tackle. I'm not going to analyze it much, so that was just a lousy tackle. Stand up and run. Go to this one. We can edit this one. This one's not bad. So even though it wasn't a fun game and I didn't really feel it, wasn't enjoying it, wasn't even a game I planned on covering. I just decided to, hey, I'm just going to go shoot today. You know, get out and shoot. That's what you do. And you learn from every experience. I learned I'm not going to this football field ever again. That was an interception. He never looked my direction, though. Kind of is. Let's see what this one looks like if I edit this one. It's always good to have a camera in your in your backpack or with you. You never know what you're going to see out there. Always kind of some fun things happening. Let's see if we can get rid of the background just a little bit. They're kind of annoying. <laughs> they're just annoying me. Let's get rid of them. Yeah, that's good. Moving along. Moving along.
almost got it. I don't know what's going on there. No idea what happened here. Oh, I know what happened. This was a kickoff. Because they scored and then they kicked off and the ball actually came right to me. As you can see, it's curving my direction. There we go. That was a fun one. That's a fun one. I like that one. Of course, the question is, did he actually catch the ball or did he drop it? What do you think? Did he catch it or drop it? Hmm. Have to take a look and find out. I think he, um, I think he dropped it. And yeah, he dropped it. This guy's helmet comes off. So let's edit this one here. Not quite sure why his helmet came off though. That was kind of weird. Must have hit him just right to where the helmet comes off. It was flying to the ground. And truthfully, it's one where it might be good just to zoom all the way in, crop all the way in. There we go. That's kind of cool. Do I have any texture? Oh, we need to add some texture to this, of course. Boom! <laughs> See his helmet's just kind of flying off. I don't need a helmet. Yeah, we can do this one. This one doesn't too bad. There we go. A little bit of texture. Sharpen it up just a little bit. Drop the highlights exposure just a little bit up. And let's mask out the back. Now we gotta get a little separation. Nothing like a little separation. Invert picks up all the background, but not our players. Looks like it picked up the ball too on this one. That's not good. See again though, if you go too far down, it looks kind of unrealistic, even though it's real. Yeah, and then if we want, we could create another mask. We could do a I guess you'd have to do a brush, maybe. Just kind of do that, and then you could, you could kind of brighten up the ball just a little bit to make it look like, hey, that's actually part of the, the play, which it was. I think that's my favorite photo out of the whole set. I like that one. All right, there's got to be a good one here somewhere. Not the best tackle and not the best run. You shouldn't have been able to tackle him that easily. Let's do this one. We're all about editing tonight, so let's edit this one. Let's go nice and tight, though. Let's get, like, get way in here. Just like that. Add a little sharpening because it needs it. ISO 1600. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, good enough. Helmet flying was kind of cool. I like that. Again, look at the field. It's just like dead. It's like dead. Even if I add green into it. 
Do we want to add green into it? Let's just. dead <laughs> was that it all right we are at the end of those images yay do i hear a round of applause for those images finally being done okay so i got some more stuff for you i have just enough time let me close that close that let's do i want to do these i want to do some of these you know, just for fun. Obviously, you're going to see these are basketball photos. These are some I found that I never edited from last year. So I'm going to edit a couple real fast because I've got about another 15 minutes before I have to take off. So let's, um, let's do some quick editing, shall we? Now these ones, um, we're going to edit the JPEGs, be a little different, and we're going to use the Windows Photo app. You guys know I like the Windows Photo app, right? If it cooperates. If it doesn't cooperate, I'm not going to be happy. And it's not cooperating. Come on. Come on. There we go. We hit our magic button. Let's see what the magic button does. And the magic button's being really slow. Yeah, that's interesting. Brought out some stuff I didn't want it to bring out. It's kind of a kind of noisy. Hey, let's do this instead. We're gonna change this because the Windows Photo app is being kind of slow. So let's open up Lightroom one more time. A lot more lively. I am lively already. I'm excited now. This was a good game, if I remember right. It's a while ago. So let's import these images. Where do I have them? Why do I have them there? That's not where I want them. All right, give me a second. I got to move these images. I don't want them on that folder there. All right, let's get back over here now. Now, where did I put them? Should have put them in there, but I didn't. So we're going to go here. We're going to go down to users. We're going to go down to this one. And then go to here and then go to here. And yeah, we want all those. So let's import those guys really, really fast. I'll take a quick drink. Yeah, but it's only, it was the only football field and football game I've been to in the past five years that was that bad. But, you know, time to move on. Let's stop dwelling on it and let's just move on to some basketball images. Woohoo! Basketball, one of my favorite sports. I enjoy basketball a lot. All right, develop. Let's get to the beginning now. All right, let's move through some of these. You got your eyes closed. Open your eyes. So these are all shot with the Sony a7 IV and the Tamron 70 to 180 lens. Good combination for indoor stuff, especially because everything is so close. Let's get past these ones. Almost got what I wanted, just not quite right. Looks a little weird. Go 
coach Clappin. And that's the visiting coach, not the home coach. Home team is in white, obviously. Oh, that's cool looking. Nice and tack sharp. Got a gun on there. That's funny. It's exactly the tattoo I want to have. Let's give him a little bit of texture. The colors in that look pretty good. Exposure looks really good. Let's kill some of the highlights. And you know, they say shoot tight and crop tighter. So let's crop tight and see how this one looks if we get in here really tight. So if you go into here and keep the official, which is kind of cool looking, right? Two hundred miller f one point f two lens with an adapter on your camera. Nope, never have. I have shot with a fifty millimeter one point four lens before basketball. Those images were really really nice. Yeah, what are we doing down there? Okay, let's get over here. I'd like to find Sony. No one makes a 300 millimeter 2.8 or anything for Sony. I'd like to find an old Minolta 300 millimeter 2.8 because I can adapt that to the Sony A7 IV. I'd like to shoot with 300 millimeter. It'd be a, a great combination. Oh, here we go. Now he's coming down the court. Is he off the court? Oh, he's just barely off the floor. That's cool. Got his eyes up. That's always good. Got faces. Nice and sharp. Got it like that. And they're okay. Those are images are fine. Not quite what I'm looking for. Since these images are a year old, is I don't have to hurry and edit them to get them out. So I'm just going to edit just a few of the ones I like. Kind of weird. I don't know why that one's already in there. Let's just move it along. Move it along. Next. He's next. What do we got? What do we got? Got a lot to choose from. I don't know which one I want. Let me see this one. Some highlights. Got a little noise reduction in this. It is a little noisy. That's not bad. Let's move on. Yeah, indoor, indoors. Yeah, you never know what you're going to get. They actually have, this gym actually has some pretty good lighting, so it's pretty consistent. Slight variations, but not bad at all. I actually like that one. That's the good one there. Even crop in just a little bit. I like that one. That one's good. Even the highlights aren't too bad on this one. So let's give it a little bit of um, 
Let me see. How much does it need? A little bit of noise reduction there. There we go. Cleans it up a little better. I like that one. That's good. I don't think we can mask this one out because I don't think it's going to do any good. Just for fun. Let's see. Oh, it might actually work pretty good. Let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Gonna lose the ball, but that's okay. Just wanna see what it does. And we can create another mask. This is gonna be perfect. We can. Don't have to do all of the ball, just get just enough of it to. Just a little bit, just like that. Brightens it up just a little bit. I could do a radio type blur on that, um, or a mask and do even better, but that's okay. I'm just going to cruise through these. Let me see what we got down here. Uh, they can have issues, yes, but not always. And sometimes it depends, especially if you use an electronic shutter, you're really going to have problems. But I will take my mirrorless over the DSLR any day. Any day. Yeah, I actually use um, the Creative Cloud thing, whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called now. So I pay $10 a month and I have access to everything that Adobe has. I think it's 10 a month right now. And some people are like, oh, well, you're paying a monthly fee. Well, I pay a monthly fee on a lot of other things that I use. So why not? I use this almost on a daily basis. So it's advantageous for me. Hey, Sean. Hey, thanks for dropping by. Can't stay long, but you got more work you got to do. More stuff coming up, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'd definitely take my mirrorless. It's got some advantages that I really like. You beat your R5, really? I'm not a Canon guy, so I don't know how it would work for portraits, but. Did you read the owner's manual? Do you know how to use it? <laughs> I know you're a newbie and you haven't been doing this for very long, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, you missed all the fun. You missed all the lousy football images I had. They were terrible. Terrible. I want this one like that. Gerg. A little bit of sharpening. Let's do that. That's all I'm going to do with that one. They want them to be lengthened because they're too short. But they let them play in the short shorts, correct? I wonder if they know they, they do make um, volleyball shorts that are nice and long. They don't have to wear the ones they wear. And I'm disappointed you read the manual. Never read the manual. That's for later. It's like asking for directions. Never do that. Yeah, I'm just going through these kind of fast. But yeah, in Arizona, I, I shot quite a bit of volleyball, and there was one, two schools who actually had shorts that were short, that were longer. They weren't the real snuggy ones that you see these days. It was like, 
you know, the, and they say they need those special shorts because it makes them faster. Aerodynamics, I guess. Like, I don't think so. Yeah, let's edit this one just for fun. Can't really see them too good, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, you didn't read it. Okay, good. I'm glad to see that. That was high school. In Arizona where I shot, there were no colleges I could shoot. Yeah, there are two, two high schools who had longer shorts for volleyball. <laughs> you know, I could see you wearing really tight uniforms, say maybe in track when you're trying to break 100 yard meter, 200 meter dash record that could help you just that little bit. But high school volleyball? No, sorry. That was cool. Drop some highlights down. Let's add a little text. Not much. I want to add a little texture to that one. Yeah, don't do that. That's good. Daisy, they were all high schools that I shot, none of the colleges. There were no, there was one college, but they didn't have a volleyball team. They had a basketball team, but they never played at home. But, but then again, when I grew up playing basketball in high school, we had really short shorts. I have no idea why. It's kind of crazy. And there is, there is one school in Oregon that I know of that also has longer volleyball shorts. It's a Mennonite school, Western Mennonite. <laughs> oh, I bet the schools make a lot of money. girl shorts give them income maybe not like to think that way but who knows all right it's got to be a good one here somewhere that i want to edit that was cool let's do this one Erg, don't do that just the rim was in this photo that would be really fun. Okay, that was too tight. Let's come down a little bit. Yeah, who knows? I, who knows? So, Sean, question. So, where you're at, do the kids also do this to their, their shorts? Do they roll them over like this? It happens in Oregon all the time. I don't remember it in Arizona, but I know they do it in every school in Oregon I've been to. If there are shorts like this, they flip them out. So. How much would I charge for the image? Is that what you're asking? The newspaper wants it, it's $20. The parent wants it, it's 12 bucks. girls especially yeah that makes sense and if i could charge a little bit more i would but it just doesn't work around here what else we got oh what's going on let's check these ones out oh, what would i charge to edit the shorts 
<laughs> Truthfully, I'd tell them I'm not doing it. <laughs> That'd be a guy to edit shorts into a photo. That's going to cost a lot. That's going to take some time. So the question you have to ask is how many, how many hours do you think it's going to cost for you to do that? I'd probably have to do a dry run and just see how long it takes me to do it and then figure out my hour, hourly from there. That's probably what I would do, I think. Never had anybody ever do that before. Hey, can you lengthen the shorts? No, why don't you just have them wear longer ones? An hour to lengthen the shorts of all the, all the players, huh? An hour? You're fast, my friend. I would think it'd take a little bit longer to get it matched up just right. Doo -doo -doo. Yes, I'm not editing very much because I'm just kind of looking at these images just to see what I like. I do like these. I don't like the colors and everything. Let's go to let's see what this one looks like. These are pretty good. Straight out of the camera, these look really good. Don't really have to do much to them. Kind of like that. One hour per player? I could see that. Yeah, probably at least, yeah, hour per, per player. Until you get the hang of it, then it might take you a little bit less, but I'd like to know what curious on how you're going to lengthen them though. Do you have something to go off of that you can just grab and place over? Yeah, it'd probably be hard to explain. I'm trying to picture it. Scoreboard, always got to shoot the scoreboard. That way you know what the score is. And I can see, I don't know the score yet. If I know the score, like at the end of each quarter and halftime and all that stuff, I jump on social media and I send a photo out, you know, because I can transfer it from my camera directly to my phone, do a quick edit, send it out, do a bunch of tags. Hey, look, the ref has a football as a head. As a basketball as a head, that's good. Then that way during the game, I do have a lot of people who will, who will retweet my stuff and people find out, hey, somebody's there taking photos. Always thinking, right? Those are lousy. What happened there? Missed focus big time on that one. Oh, that's kind of fun. Got a better one? Is that a better one? I want to do something. I love noise reduction. I want to do something. Got that skin tone. All right, guys, got about another five minutes. I've got some stuff I got to do. So if you have any other questions, comments, let me know. And also, let me find something here. I believe it's, oops, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where's my chat? Where's my chat? Where'd my chat go? There's my chat. Oh, it's not there anymore. This is wrong. It's wrong.
I got a couple things for you guys for hanging out. I do have a free guide on how to shoot sports and low light situations. It's free. I just have to get your email address so I know where to send it. And of course, I do have a Discord. Let me give you that link as well. Yeah, Eric, they really do. They straight out of the camera, these ones, they a lot of them I don't have to do much to. I like that. And then if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee. Wink, wink, or just support me any way you can. You can do that. Uh, Sean, I will not be available after the live stream. I've got some other things I've got to do. Got some family stuff. Um, why was I taking that photo? I'm sure there's a reason for it. Yeah, these are out of the ca straight out of camera look pretty good. I think the yellows are a little bit off. Blue is close. I could punch it up more if I really wanted. It's like right there, skin tones are off on that one. Uniform looked just right though. That looks really good. I like that. Nice and sharp. Oh, I like it. That, and that's that ISO 5000. It's just so clean. So clean and so crisp. Kind of like a cheese crisp. So yummy. I'm thinking about renting an 85 millimeter and shooting basketball. That's what I'm thinking. I have two plans. I'm thinking of that. I'm also thinking of a... um. Of uh, comparing the Sigma 24, 24 to 70 to the Sony G Master version 2, 24 to 70. Something a little different. I like those wide angle shots because I'll put it right on the floor. You just kind of focus near the basket. If you got the right teams, the right players, it looks really cool because everybody's just way up there and you get this cool wide shot. I like that. Yeah, this um this floor here has a lot of yellow that comes off of it. I actually used this floor in one of my videos when I was talking about white balance. And no matter which white balance I use, there is the floor messes things up. And I've also been in gymnasiums where the gym itself has kind of a red or orange tint to it, so it kind of reflects onto the players. It's like not good. Yeah, 8518, that'd be kind of fun to have. I'd like that. But there's so many, so many lenses on my list that I'd like to purchase or at least try out. Oh, is that next week? When when's the um Eric, when is the when's the state meet? I haven't heard anything about it for some reason. The Lane Community College isn't too far away from me. Could be fun. Oh, I agree, Sean. Yeah, that especially depending on the gym. I've seen colors and lighting just so different one from one spot to the other. But I usually just try and shoot in the one area, so it kind of it. Um, I've had some cameras where the white balance, no matter what what white balance I use, it I couldn't be happy. I was never satisfied. Just had to keep changing things, you know. Yeah, if you get if you get the right gym, like this gym here, the lighting is perfect all the way around. Every spot, even in the stands where the um where the crowd sits, the lighting's still the same until you get to the far corners. It's the floor that's always the problem. Because yeah, like, like this one you can see, this photo here. 
you can see you got the yellow and this color is not yellow but this is yellow so it kind of like uh, bleeds up into the skin tones All right, Sean, as usual, thanks for joining and stopping by. It's always a pleasure to have you in the chat and just checking things out. Good luck with, uh, <laughs> good luck with painting shorts on and make them longer. I like that. I'd be curious on how that works out for you. So districts are in a, are a week from this Wednesday. I need to look into that. So I know, actually I did know about some of that. Philomath is holding one of them, I believe for 3A, 4A. Three and two A maybe. I have to look in that again. I'll see if um Yeah, maybe I can. So <laughs> Hey Jack. Yeah, you do. You show up at the wrong time. I've even on here longer than I anticipated. You missed all the fun. I was showing some lousy images I took. As you know, we do that every once in a while. We take lousy ones. There are football images that the I walked to the field and it was just here. Let me let me show you real fast, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you the field. Uh, let's see. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Yeah. So that's the field. To me, it's it's even dangerous to play on. Hey, see you, Sean. Have a good one, man. It even looks like a dangerous field to me to play on. It's just got these big holes down the middle of it. Is it? It was a day game. There's no. Uh, there's no lighting at all. No lighting at all. And so we have sunshine on part of it. And we got shade on the other. And the sun was starting to set. And so it was. It was. It was. It was ghastly. <laughs> I think in Arizona, when I was in Arizona, I think there was only one field that was probably close to this. But yeah, you can just see it's just, it's terrible. I'd re truthfully be worried someone would get injured. I'm glad they didn't. So 6 8 state. So cross country for 6 8 is November 5th. Okay, I'll look into that and put that on my calendar. That'd be kind of fun to go shoot. Yeah, Jack, sometimes a flicker reduction, at least on my camera, it usually works really well, but sometimes there's a couple fields. They're the older fields, which I don't have those photos with me. There's one, they, they shouldn't even play at night because you can't even see with the lights. It's, they should just play day games. But, um, this field here, this game right here was six man. And you know how exciting six man football can be. <laughs> Actually, it can be a lot of fun if you got some good teams, but these teams just, yeah, just don't have the caliber that the other teams have. I need to find out. Yeah, good old six man football, right? Like I mentioned earlier, the, the coach for the one team, the team in white here, they, their coach was so good. Um, his team was getting their butts kicked basically, but he was never discouraging. He was always uplifting them and say, all right, guys, let's just keep this going. Got to stay positive. Just get out there and do the best you can. So it was kind of fun. So I actually sent him a free photo of him coaching one of the kids. So it was kind of nice. I kind of like that. Got to help out, you know. <laughs> Rented construction lights. Okay, I have not run into that yet. <laughs> wow, 10 feet off the ground. I'm trying to picture that now. 10 feet off the ground is not very high. Wow. In a way, it'd be kind of fun. It'd be kind of a fun challenge to shoot that. I think that'd be a, that'd be a blast. So which 1A school was it, though? I'm curious. 
if you don't mind telling me. There we go. Just jump right into that guy. All right. Okay. I'm going to hang out another 10 minutes for you guys. Another 10 minutes. I got to go after that. Okay, Lincoln Prep, gotcha. I think I know where that one's at. Shooting behind the end zone to avoid the light glares. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm sure you still got some good images out of that. I would pretty much bet it. But yeah, the, the football images I took, it's one of those I walked in, I just wasn't feeling it. People weren't very friendly. I just picked up a spot and I dusted off, dusted off my OD 7200 Nikon with my Sigma 150 to 500 just, just for fun, you know? Yeah. So that was, that was exciting. See, that one's looking good. scoreboard i hate scoreboard pictures though like i said i have to take them because i report the scores in but the synchronization between the camera and the scoreboard sometimes is a little off so i have to take several just so i know what the score actually is because i forget things you know but yeah eric i will look into that you're going to be at just the six the six a state cross country you're going to do any others Cause that's not, uh, how far is that? I haven't been to Lane Community College in a while. I actually went there, I was shooting their basketball and volleyball for, for, for about a year. When I was covering, was it NAWC, NWAC, whatever that's called. So how far do I, would I have to go here? Yeah, that's only an hour and a half away. That's not bad. Could possibly do that. Okay, yeah, I'll put that on my schedule or I'll look into it. Man, your son does everything, doesn't he? Yeah, he must be pretty talented. Like everywhere. <laughs> or is this a different son? Oh, what the heck happened there? And then there's sometimes you just kind of miss what you're shooting. Let's go ahead here. Let's take a look at a couple of these other ones real fast. Oh, okay, gotcha. Fun stuff. Yeah, what the heck happened to that one? So you got one does cross country, one does football. They both do basketball and run track. And do they get this talent from you? Were you an all-star athlete as well? Or did it skip you? Or did it come from your wife, maybe? Okay, where are we at here? Getting distracted with these images. Oh, I just think basketball is just around the corner. I was looking at my volleyball schedules and I have like nothing going on this week. I have one, I have one volleyball match this week and one boys soccer this week. That's it. There's nothing nearby. So I won't be doing much. Hopefully the weather stays good. In your mind. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Let's 
got to play around here. I want to see something here. Let's give this one a quick mask. Now, see, I picked up several there. You got to figure out this masking that the uh, that Lightroom does. It's kind of interesting. But again, if you do it too much, it looks it looks a little a little wonky, a little weird. Yeah, I I really enjoy basketball. So I can just sit on my butt and just take photos. I don't have to move around much. No, that's not it. Boys enjoyed basketball. I actually went to a Dick Van Arsdale basketball camp when I was just a kid. See, I'm yakking too much. I'm not uh, doing this stuff, but it was kind of fun. Wrestling is not too bad. The lighting can be an issue. Some of them just have like one big main light over the center of the mat, just shooting down. And But it can make for some really cool dramatic images. That's the plus side of it, which is nice. All right, what else we got? What else we got? We have a block. That's kind of another reason I picked out some uh, basketball ones to look at tonight, just to kind of get in the mood, get in the flow. Yeah, you're slacking on your videos, my friend. The other day I realized I hadn't subscribed to your channel. I apologized to that. I was like, oh man, why am I not subscribed? So I did subscribe. So I'm one of your statistics now. And actually I haven't been, I've just been doing, I've done a couple shorts and I've done Mondays. I've been going live every Monday now. So I need to actually have a big whiteboard full of a whole bunch of ideas. I just need to. You know, it's one of those you try and you try and make your video a little bit different than everybody else, but it, it takes a little more work than just sitting in front of the camera and talking, which those are fun, but I don't like those. Those get a little boring after a while. And you got two football games. Though. I'm a little jealous. All the teams I cover, they are out of town, too far away, and the one had a forfeit. So it's like, what do you do? You know, then there's sometimes you take photos and you're like, what was I thinking? Or I was thinking something's going to happen and it never did. And that's what I think I was thinking. Yeah, I've actually been, Eric, I've been shooting a little more video lately. Um, I'm looking at potentially starting to do hype reels and stuff like that. Um, especially with the camera setup I have now, it shoots really excellent video. And the focusing, obviously the focusing systems anymore are just smack dab right on where they should be. So yeah, you know, I got lots of things I'm planning. It's just accomplishing all these things sometimes takes some work. Yeah, and I did video like I think you guys know. I used to have a Cable One sports show back in like 2010. So I had a, um, oh, what was it? Can't remember the model. It was a Canon XL2, big, huge camcorder that shot tape. And I thought that was really good. That was some good quality. Excuse me. So that I use that a lot. And now I've got this. I'm like, well, this just blows me away, you know. Got 10 um, 4K footage. Woo! I can do so much with that. So taxing in on my computer. I may have to upgrade my computer again, but. I'm working on it. Working on getting those subs. Hopefully I have no more medical problems or have to run to Arizona for a few months like I have had to do. 
think that's kind of really messed me up a lot, just not being able to be consistent like I should be. And the place I, where my dad lives in Arizona, he has no internet. And there's no data out there, so if I have to do anything, I have to go into town. And the best internet I can find is at the hospital, so it's one of those weird situations. But I can't take all my camera gear with me half the time. And I don't have a good laptop to edit with, so it's... Yeah, you know, it's just one thing after another. And again, I just have to say, Jack, your videos, you've really stepped it up. I like the color grading on a lot of them. The lighting is so much better. Um, and the vlog style ones, which I've done a few of those in the past. Those are fun. I like doing those. It's like actually taking the people to the game with you and showing you, showing exactly what you go through and how you get set up. I'd like to do a video and it might be one you could do too, just as well as, you know, the conception of what gear am I going to take to what type of event at the event, actually shooting everything and explaining why I'm doing what I'm doing. And then, you know, going back and then editing those images all in one video. I've kind of done it, but not to, you know, not to my satisfaction yet. I'm hoping. I'm still hoping to get to Arizona so we can go shoot together. I think that'd be a blast. Yeah, I'm too busy talking. I'm not even editing. I'm just looking at images and having a great time with you guys. Yeah, I've seen some really cool hype reels. I've also seen some that just aren't very good. I'm in a couple of the Facebook groups now. And some of the stuff I see, it is, that's okay. Um, I don't I like a lot of the music that they throw with it. It just doesn't fit for my style. But some of the stuff out there, some of the guys I follow on YouTube now, it's like, wow, that is such good work. So, you know, you, know, you just got to keep learning, keep trying new things. If you don't, life gets bored, it gets stale. You get stuck sitting in one spot all day long. Always got to be learning. You got to keep pushing yourself. All right. Okay, I'm going to edit one more photo. I've got to find one to edit, and then I'm going to take off for the evening. And again, I'm usually streaming every Monday night, starting around 7 o'clock. I'm trying to do like maybe get down to a six o'clock, a little bit earlier. Uh, if any of you know about twitch.com, twitch.tv, did I almost say twitch.com? Gosh, twitch.tv. I'm going to be streaming over there probably starting next month. That's uh, another um, streaming platform. See if I can pick up some other type of people who are interested in the photography. Yeah, YouTube can be expensive if you, like I think I, I mentioned to you that my analytics show people like me doing the gear reviews more than, you know, like the how to. So it's like, okay, I can't afford all the gear, so I got to rent it, but still that's an expense. And it's like, you know, I like doing it though. It's a blast, but I still have to think about it. I have to put the money out and I'm not quite getting a return on it yet. So we'll see what happens. Okay, I want to find one more to edit. Got to be something fun here. So let's expand this a little bit. Oh, there's my shot. Oh, wait, I didn't get them all in there. Where's the fifth player? Some of you know I like trying to get a right stuff shot, I call it. If you ever saw the movie, I think it's called The Right Stuff. You got the astronauts walking down the hallway. I try and get that at every game I go to. Get the players just coming off the field or right on the field together. Just a fun, it's just my own personal fun shot I like to get, you know. Okay, let's see if we can find, ooh, what's this, what's this, what's this, what's this? Nope, don't like that. There we go, what's, what's this look like? That's after it. It's actually there. It's, I don't have to edit it straight out of the camera. It looks really good. I can do a little bit, but nothing exciting. All right. What else we got? What else we got? I 
How about this one? What's this one gonna look like? All right, let's see what this one looks like. You just kind of get in kind of tight. If I can get both of them in there, maybe. Yeah, that looks terrible, doesn't it? That's, um, yeah, God, I don't like that one. Sometimes you just don't feel it. Come on, you should do gear reviews. <laughs> Okay, stick to the how-tos. You do those really good, so. Or go buy the gear. Just do it. You Come on. You're partnered by now. You probably got so much YouTube AdSense money coming in. I got affiliates lining up at the doorstep saying, sell our product for us. <laughs> Yeah, a few hundred thousand subscribers. Yeah, that'd be nice, you know. So tell a friend. I have a friend on Twitch who was streaming tonight, and he kind of shouted me out in his stream and shared my channel. So I had a couple of people come over from that. All right, one more, one more. I got to get going. Let's see if I can find one here real fast. What's this look like? All right, let's just do this one real fast. Let's do a nice, nice tight crop. And again, straight out of the camera, these look really good. So I'm not going to, um, do I want to play around? We can play around if we want. Bring in a little more of the blue. See that? You can't do much with black uniforms though. Those are kind of ugly. Get a little bit of noise reduction. I mean, it looks like hey, we can do a little bit in there. Smooth that out just a little bit. Um, and let me get rid of this again. Whew, get out of there. And why don't we, um, so I've added some sharpening already to it. I don't think we need to blow out the background, but we could just for fun. Shall we do that for fun? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, even with, even with some, you know, 10,000 subs in that, you get, you might get some people interested, but usually it's the companies you don't want to be interested in. I've had a few reach out to me like, yeah, we want you to um, promote this product. Like, well, I, and they're going to send it to me. And we want you to say these things about it. And I'm like, no, I need to try it and review it. I'll do it honestly. I'm not just going to do what you want to tell me to do. And then they'll say, okay, thanks. We'll be in contact. Yeah, they never contact me. <laughs> you know. Yeah, definitely. Max preps would be a way to go. Yeah. Talk to Jack about that. And I think you have a video about that, if I remember correctly. Um, I don't know if you've done one on actually like step by steps on how to do it and exactly what they're looking for. That would be an interesting one. All the stuff I know about it is secondhand through a couple of people that I couple of photographers I used to, who I shoot, used to shoot with in Arizona. So all right. So let's see if that was the right button. Hopefully I hit the right button. Not sure. We'll find out in a second. Come on. Where's the screen at? No, that's not the screen we want. Too many screens. All right, so let's pull this up real fast. All right. Let's do that. All right. All right, so there I am. There I am. All right, everybody, I am taking off. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. It was a joy and a blast once I got past through all those really lousy photos. 
Um, hope you guys have a great evening. Again, Eric, Jack, uh, Sean was here. Uh, Nick was here. Chabs was here. Didn't see Figgy, though. I don't know where she was at. So maybe she'll show up next week this time. But again, I'm trying to do this every Monday, streaming about 7 o'clock. Like I said, I'll try and get a little bit earlier, maybe some 6 to like 8 o'clock if I can. But again, thank you, everybody, for being here. Appreciate you guys. And don't forget, get out and shoot.